Good afternoon, learners! Welcome to the world of Sepak Takraw. I am Coach Diane May Brasi Lagura of Nabunturan National Comprehensive High School, Nabunturan West District. How are you? I hope everyone is safe and healthy. Are you excited to learn the game? Let's go! Today, you are expected to 1. Learn the history, the rules, the equipment, and the basic skills of Sepak Takraw. 2. Apply the basic skills of Sepak Takraw. What is Sepak Takraw? How and where has it begun? How to play the game? Sepak is a Malay word for kick. Is a Thai word for woven rattan ball. Sepak takraw is defined as kick volleyball. It only allows players to use their feet, knee, chest, head to touch the ball. Hands up! Sepak takraw is a sport native to Southeast Asia. It was originated in Malaysia around 500 years ago and it is the national sport of Malaysia. The first Sepak Takraw official competition was held on May 16, 1945 in Penang, Malaysia. In 1960, the Malaysian Sepak Raga Federation was founded at Penang. In 1965, it was included in Southeast Asia Peninsular Games. It was then formally named as Sepak Takraw. In 1965, the Asian Sepak Takraw Federation or ASTAF was founded as the governing committee of the sport. And in 1992, the International Sepak Takraw Federation, or ISTAF, was formed as the world governing body of the game until today. Now you have learned how and where the game started. Do you want to know the equipment of the game? That's good! So this is how a Sepak Takraw court looks like. The Sepak Takraw court is very much similar to that of volleyball court with a flat, horizontal, and uniform surface. The dimension of the court is around 6.10 meters in width and 13.14 meters in length with boundary lines drawn over it. The court border line should be 10 feet or 3 meters away from all obstacles. The net height at the center is around 5 feet and 1 inch. The parts of the court include center line that divides the court into two, the quarter circles, and the service circuit. This is the Sepak Takra Ball. It is the most essential equipment of the game. Without a ball, there is no game. It is spherical in shape and usually made of synthetic fiber. It has a maximum weight of 170 to 180 grams for men and 150 to 160 grams for women. It has a diameter of 5 inches. The ball is made of synthetic rubber that has 12 holes and 20 intersections with a maximum circumference of 42 to 44 cm for men and 43 to 45 cm for women. The ball can be single-colored or multi-colored. This is the net. The net is usually made of ordinary cord or nylon with 6 to 8 centimeter mesh. The net shall be 0.7 meters 
with a maximum length of 6.1 meters. From the center of the court, the height of the net should be 1.42 meters for women and 1.52 meters for men. What to wear on your feet? Very good! The shoes! The shoes are light in weight and have flat sides with soles. It has a good grip on both indoor and outdoor surfaces. It has a sole inside to support the high impact of constant jumping and landing. These are specially made for players to help them kick perfectly. Now that you've learned what to wear and where to play, let us discover the most important thing in Sepak Takraw. Do you know what is it? Of course you do! Let's learn how to play Sepak Takraw. There are three types of Sepak Takraw events. Rigu, which has three players and two substitutes. Doubles Rigu, which has two players and one substitute. And Team, which has nine players and three reserve players. Each team comprises of a striker, a server, and a feeder. Each of these players possesses different set of skills and tactics. This is the server. The main job of the server or the taiko is to serve the ball. The server hits the ball with great speed across the net, making it difficult for the opponent to defend. The striker. The striker or killer or known as spiker is responsible for executing the volleys into the opponent's side with high speed. When the striker does not possess the ball, he tries to block the high kicks from the opponent's side. The feeder. The third player is called the feeder or the setter, who has the maximum control over the ball during the match. He is the most agile and responsive player in the team. The main job of the feeder is to set the ball in a suitable way for the striker to kick hard past the net. Where can you find each player inside the court? Correct! The server usually stands at the back, whereas the striker and the feeder Take the front left side and the front right side. Are you now excited to play? What are the basic rules of the game? Who will serve first? It is decided by tossing a coin. The winner of the toss can either choose to serve or choose the side of the court. Who gets the score? Once a fault is done by a team, the opponent team gets a point until it reaches to 21 or 25. What are the faults in the game? A player fails to pass the ball to the opponent team within three touches. The ball hits the ground before being kicked off to the other side. The ball lands out of bounds. The inside player plays the ball after the score call and before passing it to the server. The inside players lift their foot, cross the quarter circle, or touch the net during the tossing of the ball before the serve. The server jumps off the ground before hitting the ball during the serve. It is called lifting. The server fails to kick the ball 
once it is tossed by the inside player. The ball does not go to the opponent's side after the serve. The players use any other part of the body besides the legal ones. The ball hits the roof or the walls of the court. Wow, that's too much to take in. Are you still with me? That's good. Is there a time up? When the ball is not in play, each team is entitled to a tactical time up of one minute during the game. There are no automatic time outs. When to replace a player? Each Rigu is entitled to a call for substitute at to maximum of 2%. In case a player gets injured or needs immediate treatment, the referee can suspend the game temporarily for 5 minutes. If after the 5 minutes, the player is still unable to play, he can be substituted with another player. This is the most interesting question in any event. Who wins the game? The winner is determined by the best of three sets. If both teams are at a deuce or a score of 20-20 at the end of the game, the game is extended up to 25 points and the first team to be ahead by two points wins the set. It is not if you win or lose, but it is how you play the game. Always practice sportsmanship and camaraderie. I hope you learned something about Sepak Takraw today. And I hope to see you play Sepak Takraw. Let us pray that the games resume very soon after this pandemic. Thank you for being with me. This has been Teacher Diane May Brasilagura and English 9 teacher and a Sepak Takraw coach for girls from Nabunturan National Comprehensive High School, Nabunturan West District. Have a nice day! Always remember, dito sa TV Escuela, sa pag-aaral, 